right now on Fox 5 News at 10. A SWAT team from our area caught on camera having a hoot. Did they go too far? The girls, the guns, and the pictures you won't see anywhere else. It's a Fox 5 exclusive, first at 10. Good evening, I'm Rosanna Scotto. And I'm Ernie Anastas. Tonight, our investigative team has obtained disturbing pictures involving a local police lieutenant who is already in hot water. But now what you're about to see raises serious questions about the character and reputation of an elite and highly trained part of the police department. Here's Fox 5's John Dutzman. Look at these big guns being held by Hooters girls. The dangerous and powerful looking weapons are apparently a special treat from the city of Hoboken SWAT team. The cops on salary and supposedly on a serious relief mission to help Hurricane Katrina victims near New Orleans a couple years ago. But you wonder who really was getting the relief. At the center of it all, this man, Hoboken Lieutenant Angelo Andriani in charge of the Hoboken SWAT team, who literally had his hands full. But before these shocking pictures you're seeing now, these pictures of Lieutenant Andriani wearing a Confederate hat and supposedly here turning a napkin into a Ku Klux Klan hood. These pictures released two weeks ago when a $20 million lawsuit against the lieutenant and the city of Hoboken was announced. It's just, it's just been absolute hell. It's absolute hell. Five Hispanic cops claim Andriani is a white supremacist who used racial slurs and intimidation when they worked under him. There are also allegations that the lieutenant forced officers who were on the clock to help him work on his house, do things like building a deck in the backyard and cleaning his garage. And now these pictures from the SWAT team's trip. The lieutenant and his colleagues seem to get their jollies showing the Hooter girls their big weapons. Inside, even more kinky, with Hooter girls in cuffs and holding a cop's baton. It sure looks like the lieutenant has police work on his mind here. Maybe he's practicing new frisking techniques. Maybe these liquid shots are some of the supplies supposedly used to help desperate hurricane victims. Maybe it's just boys having having fun, but when they mix fun time with gun time, are they crossing the line? Hey, Lieutenant. John Dutzman from Channel 5, how are you? So we went to the Lieutenant's house in Verona, New Jersey, the house where he's accused of, according to the lawsuit, behaving like a plantation owner, using cops on the city clock to do manual labor. Girls? What was going on with the Hooter girls? Was there a Hooter girl jamboree down there? I got pictures of, of you with Hooter girls and big guns and the whole deal. The lieutenant, who seemed to flaunt it all down south, curiously became camera shy. Just, were the Hooter girls undergoing SWAT team training? Lieutenant? Now there's a lot going on with this lieutenant. Hudson County prosecutors are looking into possible criminal charges due to the allegations that he used cops on the job to do work around his house. And the city of Hoboken is conducting their own investigation, checking out the racist allegations. And now the famous Hooters trip could be part of that broad investigation. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News. And John tells us that Lieutenant Andriani is currently on an extended vacation and has not been suspended from the force. The lieutenant called John this afternoon and said that no laws were broken because the photos were taken in Alabama on their trip home. In Alabama, you are allowed to display guns in public. And he also says the guns are privately owned and not paid for by taxpayers. He explained that they were attempting to take pictures for a calendar with the Hooter girls and that the police were off duty at the time. He denies all of the allegations against him in the lawsuit, including having police work at his house. He said his hands were not actually touching the girl's breasts in the picture you saw before. He insists he wasn't home also when John came knocking two days ago. All right, if you want to view more of the exclusive pictures from tonight's story, dozens more that were not included in the report you just saw, you can log on to our website at myfoxny.com and click on the Scene on TV tab. Right now, on Fox 5 News at 10. Girls, guns, and pictures. Tonight, the fallout after a local SWAT team is caught on camera 
having a good old time. It was a story you saw first on Fox 5. Good evening, I'm Rosanna Scotto. I'm Ernie Gadastas. Hoboken's mayor shocked and disgusted after seeing the racy pictures. Tonight, he is demanding answers and making big changes. Fox 5's John Dutzman broke the story and has the new developments. I witnessed your news report last evening. And the mayor saw his city's police SWAT team with their powerful guns frolicking with Hooters girls while supposedly on a serious mission to help Hurricane Katrina victims two years ago. What occurred was uh, some repugnant behavior and conduct that is not becoming of a police officer within the city of Hoboken. The entire matter, uh, the photographs, the, the women, the, uh, the police vehicles, the, the weapons, it's just been uh, a, a, very, uh, a, a very disgusting image that this you know, wonderful city has now been uh, forced to tolerate. The mayor promised to get to the bottom of this, promised to determine the future of Lieutenant Angelo Andriani, the man in charge of the SWAT team at the time, a man also being sued by a group of Hoboken cops who claim he's a white supremacist and forced cops on the job to do work at his house. Andriani denies all of the accusations against him and says here the SWAT team was just having fun off duty on their way home from the trip. I find that to be a disgusting, disgusting uh, uh, description of events. The mayor has appointed this guy, Bill Bergen, as the city's public safety officer to oversee the police and fire departments and this mess. First call I received this morning was for my oldest daughter. And she said, Dad, what are you getting yourself into? Hoboken Police Chief Carmen LeBruno was not at the news conference. There's a lot of pressure on this guy. His department's being investigated. There are allegations of a cover-up. And now they've hired some guy to look over his shoulder. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News. And if you want to view more of the exclusive pictures from this story, dozens more that were not included in John's report tonight, go to our website, myfoxny.com. Click on the scene on TV 10.